Okay, good morning class. Before anything else, let, let us have a prayer first to be led by Melody. Okay, please be seated. How are you today, class? Okay, it is so nice to hear from you, class, that you are fine today. So, are you ready to learn about our new lesson for today? Okay, very good. But before that, let me present to you first our lesson objective for today's discussion. So, are you ready to learn about our topic for this morning? Okay, very good. But before that, let us check your attendance first. Class monitor, are we all complete? Okay, very good class. Um, but before we move on to the next activity, let me present to you first our lesson objectives. So, this is our lesson objectives for today's discussion. First is to identify the responsive processes of organisms. Second, explain the significance of adaptation and evolution in the study of life by citing real life situation. Then the last one, compose five sentences essay that summarizes the importance of unifying themes in the study of life okay so these are the objectives of our discussion of our new topic for this morning but before that at this juncture let us have an activity okay let us divide the class into three groups after you count off proceed to your respective groups the title of our activity is Picture Analysis. I will give you two minutes for this activity to observe these pictures, then share your thoughts and opinions or ideas to your group, then choose one representative from your group to answer the questions later. say about the picture or the first picture okay according to Mani Marimar that a the first picture shows that a man having a good time in eating why does he eat a lot why does he eat a lot class okay very good maybe because he was hungry and tired okay very good now, what will happen to us if we are hungry and tired? What will happen to us, class, if we are hungry and tired? Okay, maybe we will become um, weak. That is why we need to eat in order for us to have energy. Okay, very good. All living organisms need to feed in order to survive, grow, and reproduce. Now, what can you say about the picture or the second picture? Okay, very good. A woman is having sweat. Why does human body sweat? Okay, very good. According to Marimar, humans sweat to keep the body cool as it evaporates from the skin. Okay, very good. 
When it's warm, skin pores open to release wet as the body weighs as as the body's way to cool down. When it's cold, skin pores close to conserve heat. Okay, that is the reason why class human body sweat. Okay, what can you say about the last picture? Okay, very good. A frog blend his color to his environment. Now, what does it mean when a frog change its color? Or what does it mean when a frog changes color? Okay, a frog change his color to camouflage themselves in order to avoid predation. Okay, very good. Aside from that, they also change the, their color for them to communicate with other members and to regulate their temperature so organisms tend to react to changes in their surroundings in predictable and meaningful way. Okay, very good class. Thank you for your participation. You are so very participative into our activity okay so based from this activity class what do you think is our topic for this morning okay very good our topic for this morning is all about unifying themes about life about life what do you mean by unifying themes about life okay very good it is a basic idea that applies all organisms and connect many things in the exploration of life living things on earth share common characteristics or properties okay Typically not found in animate things. So in class, there are properties of life. One of the properties of life is gathering and using energy. Gathering and using energy energy okay one unique characteristics of living things is the ability to use energy and matter to ensure survival energy is the ability of organism to work that allows them to move okay again Energy is the ability of organisms to do work that allows them to move in order to perform vital activities such as growth, movement, and reproduction. All living things requires energy. Energy is produced when complex organic matter such as carbohydrates and proteins are broken down into simple substances such as glucose and amino acids. The process by which energy is released by the breakdown of food substances is called I mean cellular respiration. Okay. All chemical processes, reactions, and energy changes happening inside the body of an organism are referred to as metabolism. These metabolic processes include Nutrient uptake, nutrient processing, and waste elimination.
order to survive, grow, and reproduce. The process by which organisms acquire food is called, is called nutrition. These acquired foods are the source of energy. Once raw materials are inside the body, it will process through various chemical reactions for repair, reproduction, and continuous supply of energy for essential activities. Okay, so these are the significance of nutrient uptake and processing why do we need to have nutrients in to our body in order for us to repair some damaged tissues for reproduction and continuous supply of energy for essential activities okay now let's um move on to waste elimination what is waste el elimination inside our body or inside the body of organism all metabolic processes must be coordinated and regulated in the metabolic level the chemical reactions are processed to ensure efficient coordination via enzyme now what is the role of enzymes in our body so these are the rules of enzymes into our body Okay, enzymes speed up the rate of chemical reaction to help support life. The different organ systems help control the internal environment and maintain normal processes such as heart rate, body temperature, and fluid environment of cells. The maintenance of the body's internal environment is called homeostasis. Okay. Again, class, what is homeostasis? Okay. Homeostasis maintains the body's internal environment. Okay, now let's move on to the next properties of life, which is adapting and evolving. Um, let me... Um, Detach this first because my area is so full. Certain responsive processes allows organism or organisms to react to changes in their surroundings. Categories of response include this one. So these are the um, certain responses of living organisms which include motility or there is reference to the movement, irritability, adapta adaptation, and evolution. Okay. In, in motility class, most animals can move from one place to another by walking, flying, swimming, gliding, or jumping. We human beings also, uh, we, we tend to move through many movements such as we tend to walk, we tend to jump, and we tend to swim. So that is our way of um, moving. Now, 
and um, irritability. This refers to the external factors or stimuli such as light, sound, temperature, pressure, food sources, or presence of chemical substances that affect living things. The reaction of organisms to respond appropriately against stimulus is called sensitivity or irritability. So that is why class we tend to um we tend to feel or we tend to irritate if we feel something itchy which uh, we can find that one in our environment um or we tend to um we tend to what do you call this one we tend to um get um angry if we hear loud noise okay now let's move on to adaptation 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 living things need to adapt because the environment where they we tend to adapt because of the environment where they live varies and constantly changes food supply can be limited temperatures and relative humidity fluctuate and natural calamities occur that is why class adaptation really needs or that it plays an important role in living organisms because just like for us just like us class as human beings we tend to adapt into our environment because if we don't adapt into our environment we cannot survive that is the most important um, factor of adaptation for survival and let's move on to evolution. Evolution refers to the changes and characteristics of a group of organisms or population over a period of time. Evolution adapt is a rapid change in the body structure or behavior to be better suited and to survive in a new environment. Okay class, that is all. Um, about my discussion and I hope you've learned something today and for me to know that um, you've really learned something today let's have an activity in the same group you will share your ideas or explanations with regards to the significance of adaptation and evolution in the study of life so i will give you five minutes to do the sharing and afterwards um each group will choose one representative to summarize the shared ideas okay but class please be guided by the given criteria for this activity so These are the criteria for this activity. Okay, relevance five points, delivery five points, and cooperation five points. All in all, fifteen points. Okay, so time is up. Okay class, thank you for your sharing. It really shows that you've learned something today. Okay class, let us have another activity. Can we get one half crosswise? And answer the following items below. Okay, first what are the responsive processes of organisms? How do living things respond to changes in their environment? Then the last one composed of five sentences is say that summarizes the importance of unifying themes in the study of life. Please be guided by the given, given criteria such as relevance or content, five points, organization of ideas, five points, and correct grammar usage. Okay, time is up. For your assignment,
assignment class, research the following and write your answer in a one whole sheet of paper. What is biotechnology? How can advances in biotechnology make product useful to man? Okay, class, before we end our um, class this morning, let, it, let us check first if we attain our lesson objectives. Okay, have you able to identify the responsive processes of organisms? Okay, very good. How about, have you able to explain the significance of adaptation and evolution in the study of life by citing real-life situation? Okay. Now, how about this one? Have we able to attain or have we able to do this one? Compose five synthesis say that summarizes the importance of unifying themes in the study of life. Okay. Thank you, class. That's all for today. Um, God bless us all and keep safe. Thank you.